Okay. Y'all know I usually don't let y'all go too far, but I'm going to let y'all see. I'm trying to get my child's uh, appetite to eat more. So this is some chicken liver with some celery, dirty rice, and I'd be glad when I replace a crock pot I had. I had like a micro one, the one that Jermaine could want warm food in, but I want, I, I have my mind, it's like $150 on this uh, slow cook, and I'm really trying to have some meals to cook for a very, very, you know, child don't eat spaghetti, child don't eat the macaroni no more. I, I don't know what to really fix. The child really loves Zatarain's, and I'm really, I hope to invest in a healthy recipe, but one that I cook in a crock pot, because I just don't, you know, with a health compromise, mom, I just don't have the time to get there, the time and the energy, along with taking care of other business, to get there and, um, you know, to get there and, and, um, you know, just be cutting up this stuff, because food processors, I done had two of them, they both been broke, um, they both been broken, stuff like that. And I got to get another one. And um, I'm letting the food finish cooking cooking down. Um, I hope this come out right on. Uh, I think this will come out right, I think. On um, what it is. Uh, on the thing. I, I do not like that YouTube and did this crap here. Um, and then took that feature. I don't like hooking up all that stuff and all that extra technical BS and stuff like that and connecting stuff. I just want straight stuff to be simple to You took that back. Why? Right, when, you, when you're scanning, hear that I'm talking about. Okay, um, I got a whole bunch of stuff I can talk about. I don't know. It's like pull ahead of what I'm talking about. Uh, now. Um,. Oh gosh, you're not just like, you're just like really, really trying to have genuine people. And it's like, a lot of people, they have this sneaky jealousy or side, you know, side jealousy to where they expect you to be okay with standard service. It's like, look, if you wouldn't act like that with Don Trump or uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce, don't act like that with me, okay? Do not at all. I do want to do a video. I do want to encourage you all to, I'm not encouraged, uh, get there and, you know, press that wheel because I do not do videos on time. I am, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't, you know, get there and I'm, I can't make a career out of YouTube. Now, if I could, you know what I'm saying? But then I got to have some, some resources like, you know, the energy and, you know, this extra equipment stuff. And I ain't into all that kind of stuff really like that. So I want to really be able to get there and, uh, you know, you press that wheel by subscribe. Only subscribe if this video is relevant to you because, you know, if it ain't relevant to you and, you know what I'm saying, you can't get something out of it. It should at least have 25 to 40% plus reference to you. And I definitely love those, that 90%. You know, I done met enough 10, 20% people. I done met enough of them, Okay. But, you know, go through the other videos on the channel, you know, like them, share them, put them on your Instagram, your Pinterest board. Instagram, you only got to do that thing for 15 seconds, um, but put them on your Pinterest board so you could just straight share on your um, Pinterest and on your Tumblr. Um, I Instagram, I may update, load it. I'm thinking, I'm debating whether I should get into that. Um, I don't want to really do social media as much. I really want to just get on hangouts, get to the point, get to discuss what we got to do, and get off, and so forth like that. Um, if you're aware of a group where people get in there and they just list, like, they list what they want, um, and then, you know, if somebody have it or knows somewhere they make and go to look, they put it there. If somebody has something to offer, they post it in that group, and it's, like, basically what they talk about. If you know about a group like that or so forth like that or interested in it, you know, let me know. Um, 
I know I do want to do a video about. I was supposed to been do a video about the the guy that killed the baby over. Oh no no no. Okay, I'm mixing the stories together. But let me talk about the one in Pittsburgh. That's the one where the guy killed the baby mama over uh over diaper supplies and stuff like that. And then they have another one. He killed. The child, because he had to pay, he get the child and the mama. He killed the mama first and killed the child, because he had to pay $600 a month. You idiots. That don't even cover child care. They need to have these men here go to a boot camp, all these deadbeats, round them up, and actually have them do research, watch C-SPAN for a week, okay? A whole week. They just need to be locked up in a retreat. Now you're going to go to jail, and you're going to make $6, and Bubba and Skimp are going to do that. Consider yourself free that if you're blessed enough that God has allowed you to get hired and make $3,000 to pay $600 in child support, you need not complain because it's somebody that wished they had a job to pay more than $600 to their child and a man that really would do it. And I salute to them. Um... I'm sure there are other topics I definitely could talk about on the Gina McQueena as that update. I do a video probably uh, in the season to update on that matter. We know it's um, Sandra Blinds. Uh, is it her birthday or so like that? I can't even keep up with the stuff. Like, it's so much going on. Um, it is so much going on. Do check out for my article on Our Black Web about vaccines is capitalism. Vaccines and capitalism, I believe the name of the article. I'm going to be having my articles posted in other places, so just watch out for it. Scan for it. Hashtag State BP is where you definitely can get the updates. Hashtag BP Now, which is being productive now, black people now. Uh, hashtag Black Youth Radio, BLK Youth Radio, BLK Youth Radio, hashtag Black Dollar Action, um, and um, BB Nomics and Go Central are the ones that uh, form a hashtag Black Dollars Matter. I am definitely encourage you all, there is a Black Owned Crowdfund, and I, if I get another person from New York that talk about that there is no Black businesses for real, I'm telling you. I, I'm, ugh. I, I, I am going to have to dress up Halloween for a whole week. Um, you know, but yeah, there's people in D.C. and New York. They say and they write, there is no black businesses in my area. And I'm like, gosh. And it's like, I'm meeting everybody so far out. But, you know, it's like, gosh, but my, my concentration is a lot on the, on the New York, but it's definitely getting everything together, get it going in action. Um, you know, my whole focus is the East Coast, um, New York, Philly, on round that loop. And no, that doesn't include D.C. and North Carolina, you know, but it is uh, affiliate networks, you know, definitely, you know, I keep updated. I, I, I support it, but I can't take on uh, to be the sole or major contributor. Um, to everything that's going on around the world. So I'm going to stick to what's within arm's reach of me and not something that's within the big globe reach. <laughs> I really care for what's going on in the globe. Um, if it's a, a major project that's mainly focused with all of us in the East Coast, it has that in mind. That's what I would definitely be interested in or a topic related to me in another area that definitely can be applied more practical um, for myself. If you want to know the update of State of Black Parent, I do plan on getting that uh, video. Uh, we're going to be on a radio station. Um, I'm going to put that in the next video because I have to go look for that information. Matter of fact, Professor Carl Tone Jones is going to be on this Saturday. And I am going to be on next no, he's going to be on this. Hold up. Let me get that correct. <laughs> okay, so Professor Carlton Jones is going to be on this Sunday at 6 p.m. East Coast time. And I am going to be on next Sunday, 6 p.m. East Coast time. 
Saturday, I'm going to be participating in a work at home workshop. Um, that's going to be associated. You can check out for details on that mainly on Twitter and Google Plus hashtag consult AFL. So that's more dealing dealing general and international business. Um, doing travel. I look back now and I see everything that's going on like, wow, I really, really, really wish I would have followed my first mind. You know, when I first, I wanted to be a travel agent at 17 and I called the people. They had a financial aid process and some other stuff. I didn't understand it. Um, and some other deck of cards with it. Um, and then, um, I, I really wish I would. Then I, I did, uh, like a year and a half later, but I'm going to say, yeah, about a year and a half later when I was 18 years old, I went to various, um, I went to various travel agencies to see who would take me on as an intern, you know, hire me. And I couldn't get nobody in that, you know what I'm saying, that I called. And I, you know, I looked, went through the yellow pages. To actually, I want to be a real travel agent, not just a travel affiliate where I got to work extra hard. I want to either work under a company or I want to have the extra license where I can actually hop on a plane for $10 or $100 or whatever like that. I want to do that. And I really like, wow. <laughs> and that would have just, uh, would have had me certified. And I'm going to do it now. I have a, a child that is technically gifted. And I may do a video about that. Um, but I'm very very broad on um you know so you know how they have this oh gosh pet chitty patty chitty patty uh care you know beings um but my focus is that i'm not gonna do what i did before i ended up getting sick that old shit about hard work don't kill nobody that's a damn lie that's because the ones that did can't never speak for it um and so forth so that's not true. Um, should you work hard? I'm encourage you to work smart. You can work hard with the wrong people. You can work hard in the wrong environment. And you can work hard, you know what I'm saying, for a prolonged amount of time. You know, people work hard at McDonald's and Walmart till it's time for retirement or when a company's lay them off and stuff like that. And, you know, there's a lot of people. Um, I went to this conference here. And what I did learn... Uh, it was, I did learn was that it's a lot of people that take their anointing to the grave. And I don't want, I, you know what I'm saying? I, it's, a, you know, like with me, it's a lot of things that I did not, I'm not directly doing what I want to do. I always want to be involved with uh, with radio. Um, and I wanted, of course, to have my major input of what I am in it. I've had that opportunity for the last two to three years, I believe. Gosh, I don't even know. It's two or three years. Um, I also, um, I've been able to meet, and you know, I met my favorite uh, author, Jessica Care Moore. You know, and I kind of, you know, when you get caught up in this, so you forget your purpose of living. You're like, okay, I believe I've met everybody I've met in my life, and you know who you want to meet, and you do. Okay, and sometimes you have this idea of how you want to meet a person and how you're supposed to meet them and if you don't meet them that way you'll never meet them and really they're like your favorite person you like to meet but everybody you know what i'm saying everybody that you're acquainted with that's not familiar or they don't know who it is or whatever like that or it may be considered like non-factor to them but i actually i got to do that got to meet and i i, I learned a lot at that meeting it happened very uh different i actually met her in my dream place uh you know east coast new york city uh at an event and it was amazing i have to tell you that uh some other things i've did in my life um i've learned a lot about human services i became a victim of a report that i did and i became a victim of it because I'm giving a lecture about young people not having proper insurance and the treatment that they get. And of course, Hillary Clinton was uh, was a part of that study that I was doing. And I, my own self, became a victim of, of that. Um, when you don't have, you, you, you're not treated based on what the facts is or what the best solution is. You're treated based on the money you have. 
Um, that's the bottom line to it. And, um, you know, there's a lot of people that don't understand. And some people just take whatever is the solution for them because they're poor or you poor. And sometimes if they was in that situation, they wouldn't take it. But because it's you, they, you know, I'll TTYL with y'all later. I plan to talk about <laughs> Okay.